from a whopping 80 watt CO2 laser to this little Ickle portable laser. It's a laser pecker 4 that can engrave on pretty much any surface. Sausages. A wolf. I call again for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The return of the sausages. And practically freehand. I'm looking forward to finding that one out. Might try it on my car panels. Probably not. Welcome to my bolt hole, mother lovers. Yo! That little dongle is for the wireless Bluetooth connection. Despite me having Bluetooth, I still had to use it. What struck me and why I'm showing you the packaging, it was how nicely everything was packaged, but most of all, how well built it all is. There is very, very little plastic involved in this. Every little box has an engraved symbol on what you know what's inside the box. That's really cool. Great idea. I mean, the build quality is fucking brilliant. It's built like a brick shit house. The box with the screws and the tools. This is fantastic. It's all labelled out nicely. Putting it together was really very quick and easy as pie. Magnetic shroud, which is nice, but gets in the way of knife handles. What pissed me off most, there's no USB-C to USB-C to connect to a computer. For Mac users, that's a proper pain in the ass. It's the same with every freaking laser. Why can't you just include a USB-C to USB-C cable, along with a USB-A to USB-C or whatever? The laser Pekka 4, an unfortunate name, but there we go. It's a portable dual laser device started at, well, aimed at small businesses, bringing people's ideas to life. This LP, is equipped with all the accessories for unrestricted creativity, really. Any time, any place, anywhere, you could call this the martini of lasers. With this removable base, you can pretty much sit that on whatever you like and engrave onto pretty much any surface. Another new, unique feature I thought was you can actually angle this head. I wonder if you could take the base out and just <laughs> zap something onto the wall. Just so thinking about that, actually, you could use this to brand your furniture. I suppose we could also brand your packaging before it goes, it gets shipped out too. Basic work area is 120 by 160 millimeters. But with this side extension, there's a whopping 160 by 300 millimeter workspace. Like the other lasers I've re reviewed, this is a 10 watt, it's a dual laser, it's a 10 watt diode laser and a two watt infrared laser. So this is for you guys that really, really like detailed work. Diode lasers engrave on wood, acrylic, glass, leather, ceramic, paper, stone. Infrareds engrave on stainless steel, aluminium, alloy, alloy gold, silver, and I believe platinum. This has a movement accuracy of 0.0019, 8K Ultra. I'm not, I'm not actually 100% sure what 8K Ultra means. I'm assuming just like a TV, Got that many pixels. The speed of this machine is 4,000 millimeters a second. Me, me. <laughs> it does come with its own software, which you can operate from your phone or your computer. It is does work with Lightburn, albeit um, not strictly plug and play. So I, I suggest you use the uh, software that comes with the machine, albeit you've got to learn another piece of software. And um, yeah, it's compatible with Windows and Mac. This guy's is more your hobbyist laser one you can take anywhere pretty much you know to markets as long as you've got power of course craft shows and engrave bespoke items there and then you know personalizing stuff it weighs four kilos which is something like eight and a half pounds for you retired folk i would say there's only really two of these on the market that you should consider and the other one i think is the uh, x tool f1 those these two are the, the go-to by the looks of things i did have an x tool which i really rated Really good machine. I'm going to say it with all of these these lasers, I think they're all expensive. Expensive for what you're going to be using them for and what they do. But I can tell you, I have done my research on these two, the X-Store and this machine. There isn't a lot in it. The Laser Pecker, this one, LP4, has a bigger work area. For me, that's a, that's a win. That, for me, that wins it between the two. But the F1 is a little bit finer in the detail. So for me, really, there isn't a lot of specs that one of them comes out in front my only negative i've got to say about this machine is this uh protective shield 
I'm not going to suggest you do it. For, for me, I've been, use, been using this without that shield. It's just so much easier and more convenient. Wear your goggles, your protective glasses that it comes with. Oh, I should say really, the also the price point of these two machines, there really isn't much difference in it. This is the ultimate package, what they call the ultimate package. So it comes with everything. And that air purifier, I was, and the reason why I'm home is because this is not something I would do in a workshop because of the fumes. When we, I, when I got this out of the box and then looked at all the instructions, when, my thinking was, look, if this is, you know, you can use this at home and it really does purify the air, it's gonna, cause it would have to have a charcoal. Um, filter in there there's just no fucking way that's going to have that I was pleasantly surprised to see that it does and does its job, job very well I've got a smoke alarm that's very temperamental so um, this would have set it off for sure and not to mention this is a tiny little one bed flat so um, you know cooking onions in here is bad enough let alone burning wood you know everything will smell like a bonfire so I could, took a chance it's been absolutely fine I'm not a huge laser guy, so I was like, WTF am I going to use this for? My lovely 20-year-old Japanese knives look their age, so I thought I'd give them a spruce up and uh, give them new logos and, and whatever the Japanese writing is on the other side, which I had to make myself. Um, I couldn't lift the logo from anywhere online. It took the best part of a day and a half to do all of those graphics. I should say here, that little spirit level bubble thingamajiggy puppy wobbly, crucial to getting a decent engraving right and I wouldn't um, reference from anything but the base of that laser because your table might not be completely level. It makes all the difference to the uh, final engraving though. I really love how they turned out. Looks really good, really crisp and I can feel with my finger now that's going to last a hell of a lot longer than whatever they did in the factory with these knives. If you know me by now, you will know my favorite beer is Leffy Blonde. This is my go-to glass for that. So what the hell, I've never engraved anything on glass before. I thought I'd give it a shot. Turned out pretty good, I think. And onto my anti-burglar device. Now I'm not going to lie, the solid lettering version would have taken probably 10 plus hours. I went back to the drawing board and used a Damascus pattern to speed it up a bit. Kind of appropriate really, isn't it, for metal? Anyway, that took six hours per side. It's two o'clock in the morning and it's getting late. Got to bed nearly at 3 a.m. Saturday morning. It's not like you can turn it all off, detach the computer and pick it up where you left off the next day. And I'm not going to let a laser run all night long while I'm sleeping in my bed. Smoke alarm or not. It isn't my flat and there's, what, other, six other flats in the building. Anyway, I was um, quite chuffed with the outcome. Cheers. I need to put this right. The reason this took so long, I was using the 8K resolution and the dithering engraving mode. That combo could take forever. To avoid extremely long engraving times, it's better to use the fill mode with a 2K resolution. Using fill mode plus 2K revolution, it took about 35 minutes. This is Jack Burton in the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. My reason for 4 out of 5 is the shroud. I think it's a great little machine, built like a tank, and the air purifier is the elephant's dangle. I'm not kidding you, I ran it without venting it outside. There is the hose to do that, and I could not smell a thing. I was very impressed. The rotary, again, built like a tank, 
that was, it's definitely way better than the previous one I reviewed. My sturdier, bigger, you know, just full metal body. The slide extension gives you the opportunity to patch out multiple jobs at once. And of course, a larger working area. Again, that's built like a tank too, pretty much all metal. But then I don't also have anything to compare it to too, but I, yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't put anyone off buying it. At the time of making this vid, the cost of the laser is 2,159 for the full package. I know, it's a lot of wedge. That is for the full kit and caboodle though, everything. If you have extraction, I'd suggest you just get the laser and the um, slide extension. That would keep the cost down. Outside of that, it does a really good job. A great little thing to have at home and, and be able to work on stuff at home. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Thanks for watching, mother lovers. Please like, subscribe and share. If you can, I'd be grateful if you could head over to my Patreon page and help support this channel because I don't make any money from YouTube ads. It's my Patreons that keep this channel going. It's the cost of a pint a month. It's pressure free, no obligation, cancel any time and you get early access to videos. Before anyone else sees them on YouTube, that means without ads too. And a WhatsApp group for top tier peeps. Thanks for watching guys, be lucky.